So in Remnant 2, there are lots of different ways you can put builds together. There are items that are going to boost your DPS and your damage in general. For an example, the Stone of Balance, the ring is going to increase all damage outputs by 7%. But there is one item in the game that's going to drastically boost, like it gives you a huge DPS boost, and that is a mutator for weapons known as Momentum. In order to get your hands on this mutator, what you need to do is make it to the Yasha world, and it's going to be preferable that you're doing this in adventure mode, so as you're progressing through the campaign, complete the Yasha world and unlock the adventure mode for it, then keep re-rolling the adventure world until you start with, I'm going to say the Red Throne. I'm not sure if you can do it from the Forbidden Grove. I managed to find this dungeon we need to find by starting in the Red Throne. And what you do is you make your way through. You go away from the actual Red Throne area itself. You go through the first like story main progression door and then make your way through whatever that rolls for you. So in my situation, it rolled the Withering World, or however you say that area. And what you're going to do is make your way through there, locate the other dungeons that are available, until you find one called Imperial Garden. When you are in Imperial Gardens, if you just keep looking up in the sky, making your way through that dungeon, you will eventually come across this gigantic bird. It's not going to be hostile towards you whatsoever, it's just going to be flying around. But the moment you shoot it, it turns into a boss fight. And this boss is called the Mantagora. So all you have to do is take down the Mantagora. And once you have done that, you are going to be awarded the Momentum Mutator. And what this Mutator does is when the weapon scores a critical hit, it increases your crit chance and your crit damage. And when you get it to level 10, it increases it by 3%. And it's only for 3 seconds, but it stacks up to 10 times. So you are getting 30% crit chance and 30% extra crit damage. But when you get this to level 10, it's also going to award 2 stacks from a critical hit and it increases the duration by 2 seconds. So you will only need to score 5 crits to get the maximum stacks from it. So you'll get your 30% crit chance, 30% crit damage. And instead of having it for 3 seconds, it's going to be active for 5 seconds. So not so much with the crit damage. Crit damage seems to be a decent amount. But that crit chance, 30% extra, is incredible. And that is one single item that's going to massively boost your DPS in Remnant 2. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.